peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We're out here. Your thoughts hold power. The power of your thoughts. Secrets of the mind and reality. A lot of us on our journey, we have that aha moment. The light bulb goes off. We say, aha, I get it now. That's what happened to me on my journey. When I realized we live in the world we are thinking of. Whatever we are thinking, we are creating. The universe aligns to our thoughts. Our thoughts are information highways that send messages to and from the body. Many times, if we look at the events in our lives, overcoming certain challenges, it is because we have changed the way we think. It all starts in our thinking. When you see it in your own life, then you see that we are co-creators. You are gods. We are made from the same fabric as the universe. And it's fascinating because then you also see on the flip side how much responsibility we have because we are the architects of our own reality. Everyone wants your mind. <laughs> I say let go of society's expectations. This is what I tell myself. In clearing the mind, we have to see that that is why the newspapers are full of information, the TV, because everyone wants to control your thinking. We have to see that our thoughts are so powerful that they create the world around us. That is why if someone can control your thoughts, they can control your world. Every thought we have is a catalyst for every action. Positive thinking has a great effect on the body because thoughts change the biochemistry of the body. That is why attitude is also so important because the way we think affects the way we feel. Thoughts are a collection of emotions. The emotion stands for the energy in motion. In essence, thoughts are energy. We are living in a sea of energy, a sea of infinite potentialities. What I've found out about positive thinking is that it does wonders, but also we must not forget negative thinking and the power of negative thinking. What? Many times when people become angry, we say this is a negative emotion. However, there's a lot of energy being generated, but it becomes self-destructive because it is implosion. We are bringing all the energy internally. We have to learn how to release externally. We have to see that it even goes back to mythology. You had many princes in folk tales who were slaying the dragon. But guess what? They didn't kill the dragon because they saw the power of the dragon. The dragon could take them to anywhere they desired, to infinite heights. The dragon was a representation of their lower nature. In essence, once we master our lower nature, which is so-called negative thinking, it can actually propel us to our higher self. So for me, what I do on my journey now is I don't judge negative thinking or positive thinking. There is no separation. It's a mirage of separation many of us have gotten into. But it all starts in the way we see the world. How we see the world is how the world responds to us. We see this in quantum physics. Even Max Planck, Greg Braden, so many great scientists have done so much work on this. But it goes back to the ancients. They knew 
that everything in the world was connected. They knew the power of our thoughts. Everything is mental. Mind over matter. In quantum physics, they now see that the observer creates reality simply by observing. The observer is the observed. The observer is not separate from the observation. The experimenter is not separate from the experiment. Just by thinking about something, we are changing it. That is how deep thoughts go. Sometimes many of us on our journeys, we're thinking about other people. And there's a saying, if you are thinking about someone, they are also thinking about you. We are sending text messages through our thoughts. This mind we have was the original internet. We are the original technology. When I am walking around, I am conscious that I am creating my reality through my thoughts. We have to become aware that we have infinite power. And that is why there is a war on consciousness on the planet. Because once you know thyself, you become super powerful. You begin to strip all of this these layers society has given you. You are this, you are that. No. We are whatever we think we are. We are whatever we tell ourselves. On a deeper level, many of us living in the 21st century, we have many desires. A lot of people say, I want money. I want this beautiful woman. I want this handsome man. I want this house on the hill. <laughs> Whenever we say I want, we are sending a signal out to the universe that we don't have what we desire. Therefore, we will remain in lack. So what I did on my journey is to move from I need to I want to I have to I am. I don't say I want wealth. I say I am wealth. I don't say I want health. I say I am health. Changing the words changes the thoughts. The thoughts change our actions and our interaction with the world around us, with a field. The field, the energy around us, the DNA within our bodies, influence the world around us. Our heart sends off electromagnetic signals to the world around us. It is more powerful than the brain. Therefore, the power of aligning with your heart influences the world and can help raise the vibration of the planet. Our thoughts are so powerful. Once we can hold a positive intention we can create miracles I've seen it in my life that's why we have to be careful where we place our focus because whatever we focus on grows you turn into whatever you're tuned into the affirmations we have the way that we see ourselves shapes who we are and that's why it all starts with perception. It all starts by having the best image of yourself in your head because that's what creates who you are. <laughs> A lot of us, we go on what people tell us. We feel we're not good enough. We have this internal dialogue. We're forgetting that the words we use also govern us. That's why instead of I can't, I say I can. We have to see that there is a power in the words we use because language is thought. If I am thinking of a table, 
then I am creating a table. You can't say a word without thinking about it. So words are spells. We have to use words that empower us. We have to use words that help us create our own reality. Through the mind, mind power, we can do phenomenal things. You've heard of stories where people, they have gotten out of the hospital bed when they have been told they only have six months left to live. Because they told themselves, I'm sorry, I've got some work to do. That is the power of thoughts. Anything is possible. We begin harnessing our thoughts when we begin tapping into the power of now. When we begin living in the present moment. When we are following our heart space. When we are opening our heart space. When we are letting go of fear. All around us there is distraction. There is media manipulation through the television. Through certain advertisements through religion, through anything you can think of that does not remind us of who we are. We have to remember who we are. The subconscious programming affects our thoughts without us even knowing it. Certain times people fall asleep with a certain song on, not realizing that because all thought is, is energy, through sound vibration, you can actually change the way people think. That is why it is amazing to listen to uplifting music for your heart, mind and soul. There is a difference between thinking and being. Many of us, we are caught up in thinking, thinking, thinking. Sometimes we see people just staring into thin space. We have to ask ourselves, how are our thoughts serving us? Are they elevating us to higher realms of awareness? Or are they draining our energy away? Many of us, we get caught in rumination where we are thinking about the same thing over and over and over again. What I've found that's helped me on my journey is to let go of thinking, to let go of thoughts. And you say, how do you do that? Tapping into the flow. Many of us, we may have experienced doing something an activity, maybe it's running, for me it's skating. When I'm skating, I stop thinking completely. All of my problems, the bills I have to pay, the places I have to go to, that all evaporates and there is only the flow of infinite energy. Sometimes people get headaches. What is a headache? A headache is a thought above your head that is not going away anytime soon. <laughs> so to free ourselves from that, we have to stay dynamic. We have to stay fluid. We must always unblock the energy within ourselves through eating beautiful foods, getting back to nature, planting your feet, being in an environment that allows you to tap into being where we don't have to do all the time because our thoughts are commands. Do this, do that. I'm thinking about doing this, I'm doing that. When we step into being, we are letting go. There is nothing to do because we are embodying the totality of our existence. It just takes one idea to change the world. We can change the world in under 10 seconds if we collectively put our minds together. That's why it's fantastic to see the whole world uniting, raising the frequency on the planet. The world is an idea. All ideas must change. Money is an idea. 
Schools are an idea. The buildings in your city are ideas formulated in the mind of someone like you and me. Therefore, the world is never one thing. The world is dynamic. It is forever changing. In essence, we are a reflection of the world. If you desire peace in the world, create peace within yourself first. It all starts with you. You are the power. And the more and more I see how we are architects, we are painters. Life is the canvas we draw on in our minds. We're living in magical times right now on the planet. We have to open ourselves to a world of infinite possibilities. We're out here in nature, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace.